Lure, The Vikings, Part 2, The Establishment of Danelaw. The attacks on England were so numerous that only Kingdom was able to resist. Aside from Wessex, much of England fell. In 871, King Alfred the Great of Wessex became the only king to record a decisive victory against a Danish Viking army in England. After this, the Danes settled north of Wessex in an area that became known as Danelaw. This period saw the establishment of many trading cities that still exist today. The best known, York. This dominance would last for around 50 years, until English armies began to take back control. The descendants of Alfred of Wessex led the charge, eventually killing the last Dane leader Eric Bloodaxe around the year 952. Expansion into Europe and beyond. While Danes were in power and then driven out of the British Isles, other Vikings remained active in Europe. Many towns suffered including Nantes on the French coast and towns further inland. Vikings stormed the Arab-controlled Seville and Italy's Pisa as they spread ever further. In 911, the king in West Francia granted the Viking chief Rollo a substantial territory for preventing other raiders accessing the Seine. The legacy of this treaty lives on today with the region's modern name Normandy, which means land of the Northmen. Norwegian Vikings also began to colonize Iceland and then moved on to Greenland. Icelandic sagas tell us that those early Greenland settlers, led by Leif Erikson, he may have become the first Europeans to discover North America. They built a temporary settlement Vinland in what is now Lanso Meadows in Newfoundland. Archaeological evidence found in the 1960s confirmed this. However, it remains the only confirmed Norse site in or near North America, aside from Greenland. Danish dominance as Christianity spreads. Christianity's introduction to Scandinavia was slow and steady rather than an overnight occurrence. One of the key figures behind this change was the Danish King Harald Bluetooth, who reigned we believe from 958 to 986. The exact circumstances surrounding his own conversion are unclear, but what is clear is his substantial public works within Denmark. During his reign, Harald oversaw the reconstruction of the gelling runic stones and fortifying the fortress of Aros, now known as Aarhus. He also built five ring forts in strategic locations. Most historians believe these projects were about consolidating economic and military control. After this, Bluetooth's eye was drawn across the seas once again. And so, a second wave of Viking activity began. Raids bigger than ever before targeted the faltering England. Over the course of twenty years, Harald's son Sven Fortbird had conquered the kingdom by 1013. His son Knut then ruled a Scandinavian empire including Denmark, Norway, England and of course, the North Sea. Back in Norway, King Hakon the Good attempted to spread Christianity after his upbringing in England. However, his efforts were met with resistance. The subsequent King Harald Greycloak made his mark by destroying pagan temples, but also had little success in introducing the new faith. Things began to change during the short reign of Olav Tryggvason. His aggressive conversion strategy more burning of pagan temples and killing of resistors was more effective and succeeded in making the country Christian. At least in name. Following Tryggvason's death in 1000, Norway did revert back for a short time, but that didn't last long. King Olav Haraldsson came to power in 1015 and was a big proponent of the new faith. After his death, Olav Haraldsson became Saint Olav, an act that sealed the dominance of Christianity in Norway. The end of the Viking Age was one of slow decline rather than a sudden stop. At Borg in Lofoten, the chieftain's house was abandoned during a time of upheaval in the 900s. As Norway became one nation and Christianity spread, power structures changed. Several great chieftains relocated in Iceland during the time. The North American settlement was abandoned in the early 11th century. 
This was most likely due to the long distance required for trade with Scandinavia. In 1030, Norway's Christian King Olav Haraldsson was defeated in the Battle of Stiklestad. Like and subscribe. To see more.